to get it Cree to get everybody off on the dance floor. Get it Cree, I'll get it A. <laughs> She's getting it. Can I get a bump? Hey everyone, it's your girl me, Viva, and welcome back to my channel, and welcome back to my Get Together LP. This is part two. If you haven't watched part one, you might want to go back and watch that before you watch this one. Quick recap of the first part. I introduce you to the three sims that I'm going to be using during this LP, and that's Camille, Cree, and Ryan, and we ended our part being here at this cafe that uh, they all, three of them, enjoy. This is the hair and hedgehog cafe i believe because they can't stop ordering coffee and <laughs> croissants and scones and stuff like that it's it's just ridiculous to be honest but i love this cafe i really really do so what i said in last part is that I deleted all of the townies from the previous world, such as Willow Creek, Oasis Springs, Newcrest, all those. And uh, because I know y'all are sick of seeing the same townies, and I am too. So I got all got rid of them, except for the golf. And I said that, and Bella was right there. He's probably like, what? Bella's right there. You didn't delete all the townies. I kept the golfs because, I mean, they're the golfs. And speaking of the golfs, there go Bella and Mortimer here at the cafe. they like, we don't got this in Willow Creek. So, um... My game should be starting to generate random sims, which is a good thing and a bad thing. The reason why it's a bad thing because I have a lot of CC in my game and randomly generated sims, they're just going to be having all types of crazy CC on and they're going to be looking ratchet about 99.9% .9 of the time, which is not good, okay? Unless I see one that potentially looks like they could be cute, uh, we're going to give a makeover too. But what I ask you guys is if you want your sims to be a part of this Let's Play, to upload them on the gallery and use the hashtag Sims for Viva. I have not started looking yet because this part is being being recorded the same day as part number one part number one I recorded at like two three o'clock in the morning and now it's like later in the day so I don't have to be as quiet and I can actually talk and you can hear the excitement in my voice now I am happy about playing get together so we're here at the cafe still see Ryan he's trying to order stuff knowing that we don't have money for this um it's getting later in the day Camille, last part, she ran into this guy, Marcus, and she thinks he's pretty attractive for a pre-made sim, of course. Uh, I can't wait to get my hands on him and to get him a little bit of a makeover. But he's a part of two clubs. He's a part of Party House and a part of... Um, a part of... What is it? Powerhouse, I think. Powerhouse and Party House. He's a part of both of those clubs, and Camille would not mind bumping into Marcus again. So we're going to see what club, uh, well, we know what clubs he's in, but where does the two clubs that he are a part of, where do they hang out? Um, this part, we're going to try to, well, hopefully make our club, because I have an idea in mind, because you know that Camille wants to be a leader of a club, and she had this idea of making this club. And we need to get out of this cafe, because they're spending too much money knowing that we don't have money like that. We we just don't. Did she get another mocha? Oh my gosh, get our, out our way, girl. Hold on. Did she get another mocha? Yeah, I definitely think that <laughs> Camille's favorite coffee is mocha, because it represents her. It's young, black, and hot. <laughs> That's what it was representing for her. <laughs> oh my gosh. I should take some screenshots. I have not been taking any screenshots. I should probably take some. But uh, we're going to be making our club probably not during this sim day, but the next sim day. But we need to find out where those two clubs hang out. So we're going to do join the club. We're really not going to be joining the club, but I think it tells you where they hang out at. So Marcus is a part of Party House. So I think you click see details and it tells you. So they hang out at the Narwhal Arms. Okay, so these are the uh, members of Party House. It said Party House is about one thing, partying and being a house. So two things. <laughs> so I think um, Camille, Cree, and Ryan, they will get along with Party House because, I mean, their club is going to be about dancing and DJing and music and partying as well. So, you know, they could hang out sometimes. So we might go to that place. Or what's the other one? He's a part of 
powerhouse, powerhouse. Well, I can't say that powerhouse, get it together. <laughs> we can all be better, faster, stronger, fitter, whether you need the words of encouragement or someone to kick your butt, we're here to help you get it done. And they hang out at the gym, of course, but we don't want to go to the gym. We all about partying. We want to see how partying a little bit here in Windenburg is all about. So I think I'm going to have us travel. She just talking to all these guys, but none of these guys are cute. <laughs> like, who are they? Anyways, we're going to travel and go to that place where the party house hang out, supposedly. So let's go ahead and travel. Hopefully, yeah, we... Yeah, Ryan and Creed, they're coming. They're coming. Awesome. All right, so we're going to get out of here and going to go to the Narwhal something. I forgot what it's called already. And see if Marcus might be there. Hopefully he will be because I'm sure. Really, Creed, I see you got more food. This is why we got to get out of this cafe. We already short on money and they just keep ordering. So the Narwhal, Narwhal. We got to find this Narwhal place. Um... Why are these like lighting up like that? Can I not click? Okay, here we go. It's a nightclub. Awesome. So let's go out there and see if Marcus is there. That would be really, really cool and sweet if we do bump into Marcus. Like I said, if they do get along pretty well um, off camera, I'm going to give Marcus a little bit of a makeover. I'm going to be giving a few people some makeovers that I see and give them their true potential <laughs> of uh being attractive so here we are at the narwhal let's put this half somebody's djing there's a bar here who is this kellen he's a dj see this is what ryan want to do but i don't think ryan could dj no he could just watch so we're gonna have ryan to watch this guy dj because ryan he wants to be a dj so bad but he needs to start working on djs which we probably will start in this part but um i don't see any party house club members i think that every place that a club hangs out at that they supposed to have like some secret type of room or something but i don't think yeah, it's definitely not a room in this one, I don't think. I don't see any party house members. Wait, is he one? Yeah, um, is it Palo? Palo is one. Why he stopped DJing? We need some music. Darn, you need a DJ, dude. Like, how are we supposed to party and dance or turn up? Oh, here goes a DJ. Oh, yes, this... Look at this. Is it a helmet or a mask? What would you call it? But look, that's definitely some um, Daft Punk, Daft Punk, Daft Punk. I don't even know how to say it. You know what I'm talking about. That's that type of helmet or whatever. It seems that Ryan is talking to Palo here. But let's see if we can start dancing. We're going to get Cree out here because she loves to dance. Oh, look at this. You better... You better go ahead, Salas. Turn it up. So we're going to get Cree out here on the dance floor, see what she got in her. She likes to dance. We're not going to do a group dance. We need to work on our dancing skill, but we're going to see what Cree is going to do here, dancing-wise. Go, Cree. Get it, Cree. Go, Cree. Get it, Cree. Go, Cree. Get it, Cree. Ooh, I like this music from this DJ booth. See, Ryan, he's loving it. He's enjoying it. He's like, yes, I want to be a DJ so bad. Go, Cree. Go, Cree. Go, Cree. Go, Cree. Go, Cree. We're going to have uh, Camille start dancing, too. No, go back to what you was playing before. Oh, she's waving her iPhone. Go ahead. They like the DJ. They like this. They're like, go ahead, DJ. Get it. Can we request stuff? I'm pretty sure we might can. Control panel, set value. Oh, no. Can you request? Oh, yes, you can. Request a genre. Um, Do some some hip-hop. Yes, hip-hop back in the game. Get it. Camille is now a DJ. How she's a DJ? I guess just by listening to the DJ that you get some sort of DJ mixing skill. Okay. That's cool. But look at them. They get it. I need to get screenshots really, really bad. Let's get some screenshots here. That's hip hop? Okay. Oh, who? She's a part of the Paragons, isn't she? 
I think how you pronounce her name is Siobhan. We don't like the Paragons because, like I said, Camille, she thinks she's the HBIC, and Siobhan here thinks that she's the HBIC, okay, because she's the leader of the Paragons. So we're not going to be too nice to her at all. We're going to be kind of snobby. I think it's like certain interactions you could do by being snobby, and I never had a, sn a snobby sim before. So... Hmm. I want to be mean to her, though. Let's let's see what we could do here. Mean. Uh, mischief. Let's be a little mischievous to Miss Siobhan here. Let's uh invite her to a fake party because she looks like she might like the party. But we're gonna invite her to a fake one and see how that goes. Just want to be a little mean to her. We do not like you, okay? Be mean to her. I feel like Camille's just being the mean one, but, I mean, she's a snob. Like, why wouldn't she be? She's kind of hungry, too. Be mean to her. Don't be nice at all. Oh, I'm loving this music from the DJ booth, though. This is giving me life. Cree, get back to dancing, girl. I want her to, um... I think you could like show off a move. Show off moves. Do the arm charm. Let's see what that's about, Cree. Cause she loves dancing more than Camille and Ryan. Who's she pushing off the dance floor? Get off the dance floor. Make room for Cree. She's at level two of dancing. Uh oh, get it, Cree. Get it, Cree. I'll get it. Get it, Cree. Get it. I really don't like the music that's playing in the background, but get it, Cree. She getting everybody off on the dance floor. Get it, Cree. I'll get it. A. <laughs> She's getting it. I really think that dancing machine trait is really helping her because she shouldn't be dancing this good that fast. <laughs> go, Cree. Go, Cree. Go, Cree. Go, Cree. Killing. <laughs> Kill it. <laughs> She's killing it. It's not really that many cool people here. Marcus is definitely not here. He might be hanging out with the powerhouses, I guess. But, I mean, that's fine. Uh, what's the other move she could do? She could do the pump pop. Let's see what the pump pop is. Yes, get off the dance floor. This is Cree's dance floor now. Y'all have to respect. Oh, she already did that, I think. Get it, get it, Cree. Get it, get it, Cree. <laughs> get it, Cree. Get it, get it, get it, Cree. Ryan, dance or something because you're just standing there. Get your dancing skill up. He wants to be on the DJ booth so bad. He's just standing there watching. Dance, Ryan. Oh, look her doing a whip. Go, Cree. I'll get it. Get it, Cree. I'll get it. <laughs> what dance move was that? Well, she's just getting it. She's like, this is my floor. Get off. Let's see. Jimmy leg. It might have been the Jimmy leg that she did. We're not going to do any dance battling yet or group dancing. They're not ready for that, in my opinion, just yet. But Cree, she's like, yes, I could finally let go and do my dancing thing. And everybody's just watching. They, she's doing pretty good, I think. She's doing pretty good. All right, I think we had enough fun here for tonight. We definitely will come back and hang out here at a later date. Um, but Cree, she's still going. She loves this. She's like, yes. I could dance and show out. She's already at dancing level four, and I think it's only five levels of dancing. So, Cree need to slow down a little bit. But uh, we're gonna get out of here and head on home. Ryan, he's sleeping somewhere. It is pretty late, and uh, I think they are tired. But uh, we're gonna go ahead and head on home, and we're gonna come back out another day. So let's do travel go back home so they get their knees up go to bed it is pretty late just sucks that we didn't run into marcus he might be at home or like i said he might be hanging out with party house at the gym i don't know but let's have them go on back home and get some rest i mean i think they had a really good first day here at windenburg and um yeah so what we gotta do we gotta buy ryan the cheapest DJ booth that we can and hopefully it does not cost that much because like I said we're very short on funds as it is and I know I said that let's have Camille claim this bed and sleep um Ryan you claim this your little twin size bed and sleep and Kriya is going to claim that 
after she used the bathroom but let's do on some not on let's do auto lights all lights so we could save a little bit on electricity so we gotta buy ryan a dj booth so he could start working on his djing skill because you saw how he was looking at that dj he really really wants to dj so we're gonna let that happen also i know i said last part i was like we're going to have to give them jobs to be able to pay their bills and stay in this house and to, you know, earn money so we could decorate and all that stuff. But then I was like, that's going to take away time from us being able to spend as much time as we want with them because they're going to be off at work. So what I decided is that once Ryan gets good at DJing, he when he's able to DJ at public lots, he's going to earn a few tips here and there from that. So we're going to see how much tips he could earn from dad to kind of help out are you fully rested ryan or you gotta use the bathroom no he's fully rested at five o'clock in the morning okay ryan so let him use the bathroom and take a shower get out of the girl's way if they decide to wake up and brush your teeth as well camilla's up. she gotta use the bathroom too Ooh. do we have a bush around here because you can use the bathroom in a bush and i don't think we have one oh yes we do I'm sorry, Camille, but Ryan's is, he's in the bathroom. He's going to be in there for a little while. So we're going to test out the bush and have Camille fertilize it because she cannot wait on Ryan because he's going to be in the bathroom for a little while. So she's going to run and use this bush. So you can use the bathroom in the bush, like pee and poop. You can, I think you could take naps in the bush and you could also woo-hoo in the bush. But as I was saying, so I'm not going to let them get like actual jobs because it's going to be lame as they go into work and stuff like that we're trying to enjoy get together not working you know so um to make money i think i'm gonna have camille here who's about to she's like oh my god i really gotta use this bush go in there girl nobody looking it's okay you can hear her peeing too <laughs> uh so i was thinking i'm gonna have camille to write books at home which we gotta get a computer for her to do that and she's just gonna kind of write about her experience here at windenburg she's gonna start off with you know, talking about moving to Windenburg. And she's also going to be the snob that she is. And she's going <laughs> to kind of like make books about all the different clubs and kind of like bash them and everything like that. Are you okay now, Camille? Are you good? Awesome. Okay. So, Ryan, he got him some yogurt. <laughs> so you can shower now, brush your teeth. I know you feel pretty dirty after using that bush, but that's okay. Um, I'm surprised Ryan didn't cook. He's like, I don't know how to cook, so I'm just going to eat me some yogurt but I think I'm gonna have Camille to serve up some scrambled egg and hopefully she does not start a fire Cree is still sleeping and she's like I'm tired after all that dancing but anyway so I'm gonna say that Camille has gotten a love for writing and she's gonna be like bashing all the other clubs in books and they're gonna be like the top selling books <laughs> in Windenburg is about her bashing the other clubs and for Cree, Cree, she's going to, she kind of like coloring art and stuff like that. So we're going to get her to do some painting. So we need to get an easel. We really don't have to get an easel right now for Cree because like all like the big open areas in Winterbury, they have easels already, which is pretty cool. So, um, Ryan, you need to clean up after yourself. <laughs> okay. So we're going to get Cree into painting to make some money that way as well so that's gonna be cool that's right ryan you're not living with your parents anymore so you need to clean up after yourself let's see what he needs to do he's still kind of hungry he's gonna wait for camille to cook some breakfast so he's gonna sit here and watch tv for a little while because he needs to talk to camille about buying him this dj booth because he wants to become a dj and both camille and creed know that and camille she's kind of like she's the oldest so she has like more control over the money that they have and their expenses so he got to talk to camille about getting him a dj booth and seeing if she will buy it for him but we need to get a computer as well so why are you using the bathroom for I don't know why he was going to use the bathroom. Watch TV. Watch TV, Ryan. So hopefully Camille does not start a fire. Because like I said, she don't know how to cook. This is her first time actually cooking. And it's going to be Ryan. Do you not want to watch TV? Can he not watch the TV? 
He's being weird. Okay, Ryan, that's fine. We still haven't found a chick for Ryan just yet. We definitely gonna try to achieve that. Are you good, Cree? Ooh, I love this outfit that I put on her. Cause like I said, Cree is a little bit more of the rubble type. Like she likes to dress up, but she just have her own sense of style. And look at this outfit. Tell me that this outfit is not hecka cute. Like it's really, really cute. I don't need you to cook, Cree. Camille's cooking. There you go, she's done, I think. Yeah, so get you a servant of that. I think Ryan is still hungry, so he could get a servant of that as well. So after they're done eating, we're gonna see if Camille is gonna buy this <laughs> DJ booth for Ryan to get him started with his DJing hobby that he wants to have because he loves it. But look at everybody with their black on. Camille did not change her outfit today, but Cree and Ryan both changed their outfit, which is very, very cute on them. And, you know, Camille, she's a little upset she didn't bump into Marcus again last night, but um, we're going to get there one day. We just... You'll wait and see. You'll see. We're going to definitely see um, Marcus later. But we're going to start up our club this part once everybody's done eating. And uh, I'm going to tell you guys the names once we get there. <laughs> we're just waiting on Camille because Camille, she's just... She's taking forever to eat. I don't know why, but hopefully they enjoyed it. What's the quality? It's actually good quality of eggs, Camille. I applaud you for that. And hopefully y'all clean up after yourselves like the adults that you are. Awesome. So they are. So as I said, Camille, she wants to be a leader of a club. She, like I said, her aspiration is leader of the pack. So we're going to go ahead and start her desire club. So she got a little bit of a hint of how clubs are here in Windenburg. So we're going to go ahead and click on this icon. And instead of joining a club, we're going to create our own. So the name of Camille's club or just the club in general, which will include Camille, Cree, and Ryan. It's going to be called Onyx. And the reason why it's going to be called Onyx is because, like I said, they like to wear black and gray and white majority of the time. But it's mainly black, so that's why I got the name Onyx from. And hopefully that's, that's pretty cool. So I think we get to pick an icon. See, later down the line... I'm going to be making even more clubs to add into this LP. And I'm kind of afraid that we're going to run out of icons. So hopefully there's a mod very soon that will increase icons. Or somebody will make some icons, some custom icons for this. That would be cool. But I think it's a mod already out there that extends the limit of how many people you can have in the club already. And that's pretty crazy. So I think our icon is going to be... Like I said, this is going to be a dancing club. So it's a dance club. And um, I think the Spin Masters already used the headphones. So I think we're going to use this music note. That's going to be us. So this is going to be invite only. Um, enter a description. What would be cool to say? I'm not really sure. I might change this later, but I'm just going to come up with something over the top of my head. And let me know if you guys like it or not. So, let's say Capped Black is bold. Turning up at the clubs is... Whoops, I cannot spell. At the club is not just a hobby. It's a lifestyle. We are Onyx. <laughs> That's pretty crazy. Let me know if you guys like that. So let me say it again. So for Onyx, it says black is bold. Turning up at the clubs is not just a hobby. It's a lifestyle. We are Onyx. <laughs> um, club hangout. I'm not really sure we're going to have a set hangout just yet. I don't know. I don't know, because I want them to have a secret hangout and stuff like that. But we got to work our way up to such thing like that. So for a club hangout, you could do a general venue, a specific location, or none. Hmm. Right now, let's just do general venues. And let's do 
any night club but I really don't think that's a good idea because they might end up in like night clubs in like Willow Creek or Oasis Springs even though I put down different clubs they're not really up to par yet I had to edit them to add like the dance floor and DJ booths and stuff like that but we're gonna do their club hangout at any night club so they could turn up and dance and stuff so we're gonna add some members we're just gonna add ryan and cree for now like i said i'm giving you guys the opportunity to make some sims and upload them on a gallery and see if they will be able to get into onyx and meet the requirements so you need to watch this part uh, i haven't looked at anything in case you already have uploaded i'll probably look at them tomorrow but like i said upload your sims to the gallery use the hashtag sims for viva and see if you can make a sim that will fit to be in Camille's club called Onyx. So I know that you could get very, very detailed with a uh, club. So we got to do our requirements for our clubs. And I haven't even thought about this because this is my first time seeing um, making a club for myself. So choose category. Hmm. So age, this does, I can't talk. This is definitely going to be a age restricted club to only young adults. We don't want anybody else. So we're going to do age. Um, let's see. Career, you don't really have to have a career or status or financial status. Let's see. Traits. So to be in my club... The traits that you have to possess will be hmm, dance machine, of course, because this is a dance club. I mean, I don't think, will they exclude you if you don't have, you could, I think you could add as many traits as you want. It don't have to, like, if you don't have a certain trait, I don't think it will exclude you as long as you have one of the traits, I believe. So, we're going to pick dance machine. Hmm. Let's do Dance Machine, Insider, hmm. Music Lover, Outgoing, you could be Self-Assured, Romantic, and we're really not a romantic type of a club. And uh, we don't want any more snobs. I think Camille is the only snob that need to be in this club so I was about to say crew <laughs> same thing so those are traits what else can we do you could have a certain skill level huh I don't think I'm gonna do that uh how I go back let's see these married not married I don't think these really matter no, nah, we don't care about any of that stuff. So we're going to exit out of that. That's our only requirements for the club is you have to be a young adult and you have to have the traits of dance machine, insider, music lover, outgoing, and self-assured. You could have just one of them. You don't have to have all of them. Just at least one of them. And you have to be a young adult. So club activities. So I believe this is what you pick positively for your club members to do. So, hmm. Let's see. I'm gonna just open up all of these. We have, oh, it's so much. Oh my gosh. It's so much. Okay, so what they're gonna like to do when they are together is dance, of course. Um, so yeah, let's do dance. Let's add what else? Hmm. I don't want them to DJ because that's what Ryan is going to be doing the most. He's not going to, he's going to be dancing too, but he's mainly going to be their DJ and he'll dance sometimes, you know, if there's another DJ there. But they're going to dance and listen to music. Um, I really didn't have any of this planned out. I really don't know exactly what to pick, but they're going to see. Um, hmm. So they're going to like to listen to music and dance and hmm let's see social they are going to you could tell jokes woohoo be funny be friendly hmm 
swim, use hot tub, use jump platform, look for frogs, um, play in closet, play with toys. That's kids' activities. Hmm. Let's see. I want them to be mean. They're not going to be naturally a mean club, but they're going to be mean to the spin masters because uh, we don't like them. going to be mean to the paragons and the spin masters. So we're going to do clubs for that. Be mean to the paragons and the spin masters. So they're going to be mean to them. Let's see. I probably will add more to this later on, but uh, for right now, I think that's pretty good. Five things that we don't want them to do. We don't want them to, they don't know. I really have to think about it. Let me know in the comment section, list five things that you don't want Onyx to do. We'll, we could always edit this later on down the road. But there we go, I'm spending way too much time on this. So we're gonna create Onyx. Camille is an insider. Insiders are always ready to talk about the latest, greatest club news. And it said, congratulations, Camille has successfully created the Onyx Club. Now it's time to recruit new members and hit the town. That's where you guys come in. Like I said, if you want to be a part of Onyx and you think you're soon will be able to fit with Onyx, we have three open spots right now. And um, upload them to the gallery. You know what hashtag news. So we got Onyx going on. But um, for now, we're not going to do a club gathering. I mean, we already live together. We're going to see if uh, Ryan could get Camille to buy him that DJ table. So he's going to have a deep conversation with Camille. Oh, we started a gathering? Oh, we did. When did that happen? Okay, that's fine. <laughs> I did not choose to start a gathering, but we did. I like our little icons. And see, Camille, she's happy. She got her little icon over her head that she's the leader. Um, so Ryan is going to talk about Onyx. He's like, if you really want us to have like the most popular club in Windenburg, you need to buy me a DJ table, Camille, because I need to get into my DJing, Camille. <laughs> So we're going to discuss his feelings about it. I'm the leader of Onyx. I think it's great. <laughs> of course, she will talk good about herself. Look at Creed dancing. She's just always going to be dancing. And she's supposed to be dancing anyway because that's what they're supposed to do of being in Onyx. So Camille's like, yeah, sure, Ryan. I will get you that DJ boo because I am. <laughs> I really like leading Onyx. I'm pretty sure that the members would say that I'm doing a good job. <laughs> Camille is like so full of herself. I love it. So we're gonna go ahead and buy Ryan this DJ booth if we can. Let's see what we got and what we get and what we can get. Like time is really flying by. I already been recording for over 30 minutes and it doesn't even feel like I have. So I gotta end this part pretty 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 soon i might cut out some things but let's see it should be like under activities and skills or something like that is this it yes it only costs 575 simoleons that's not too bad if it could fit in his room he he's gonna get it <laughs> um it might not be that great of a fit for his room just to think about it um hmm we might gotta do a little bit of moving things around Let's just throw his bed out here for a second while we see if we could really fit this DJ booth up in here some kind of way. Can it fit this way? Ooh, Ryan, your room is so tiny. <laughs> it is so tiny. Um, I'm trying to see of how I could fit this in here. I don't think he'll be able to walk past that, will he? To be able to sleep? Ooh, we got a problem. Big, big problem. But he got the smallest room. Okay, so what we're going to have to do is... Let's delete this from now. We're going to have to spend a little bit of money and actually expand Ryan's room just a little bit. Just so he can get his DJ booth in there. And that's going to cost us 156 ammonia. That's not too bad. And um, Camille, like Ryan, we're spending a lot of money on your room 
spending a lot of money, Ryan. But, I mean, she loves her cousin. And she's going to support him being a DJ because that's what he wants to be. So, let's just move these posters a little bit like that and see if we can get the DJ booth now to fit in there. There we go. It fits a lot better. I think we're going to move his bed to that wall, though. Let's see. We're going to make this work. We're going to make it work, okay? Let's turn his bed to like over here and put the DJ booth his room is so small it's not even funny so we're gonna put it like right here <laughs> I don't know why you need all that space in the back that's crazy okay so this is Ryan's room this is what Ryan gets this is what he wants so let's go back into live mode and Ryan's finally gonna start using his DJ booth and try to up his skill. So he's going to practice and stop talking to Camille and Cree. I'm actually going to have Camille to let's put the walls back day in a way. Camille, she's going to call up Marcus. She's very upset that she haven't seen him again yet, but maybe next part because I did spend a lot of time on this part. So. Yeah, but here we go. Ryan is starting to DJ. This is all about you, Ryan. Get it. Get it. Get it. He's enjoying this. It sounds like crap, but he's going to get better. Oh, why he stopped? He got used to the bathroom? Oh, darn. He got used to the bathroom. Quick little PP break. He's <laughs> DJing is making him a little nervous. Just a little bit. We're gaining some club points, which is great. We're definitely going to use those club points. Have him practice again. Oh, he could put this in his inventory. So hopefully this is portable so he could use when he go out in places, I guess. <laughs> I love the DJ booth. I mean, it might be the cheapest one, but it's still pretty cool. He's going to get up there. It sounds like crap, like I said, but we're going to get there. <laughs> Let's see if a uh, Cree, like, why he keep going to the bathroom? Are you that nervous? What's going on, Ryan? Ryan, you don't have to use the bathroom. Why he keep using the bathroom? Stop using the bathroom and DJ. How you gonna get up your DJ skill if you keep using the bathroom for whatever reason? Is there like a glitch going on already? They might need to go ahead and patch up, get together already. It seems that he keep using the bathroom. I don't know why. Go Ryan, go Ryan. He better not stop and use the bathroom again. He keeps stopping to use the bathroom, stop. Don't do that. I don't know why he's doing that. That is so weird. It sounds like crap. I'm sorry. We can't listen to this no more. But Kree is just dancing her little heart out. She don't care what nobody's saying. She is just dancing. Get it, Kree. Hey, get it. <laughs> I love Kree. If you haven't already, let me know in the comment section below. Who is your favorite sim? Oh, a secret was revealed? Camaraderie. I think that's a new move. It. Kree is digging this club gathering. Nothing beats being able to fraternize with the like minded Sims. Let's do this more often. That's awesome. That's really awesome. So, I don't know what's Ryan's problem. I think, can we end this gathering, please? Because we don't actually need to be in a gathering. I know we're gaining club points, but I think it's kind of stupid to be in a gathering. I want him to DJ his life away. And then I think I'm gonna end this part right here. We're gonna get him back on this DJ booth to get it up. Um, Let's see how far he has come in his DJing skill so far. Not even halfway through the first skill, but that's okay. But uh, I think I'm gonna end this part right here, you guys. Next part, I think we're going to head out to a pub or to a bar or something. See if Camille could find Marcus again and see what he's up to gonna find our first little victim for Ryan hopefully and Kree is just gonna keep on dancing her life away <laughs> she has no worries but um we're gonna start Camille writing books tomorrow as well we got a bad computer but um yeah so like this video up if you haven't already and subscribe to my channel if you're new I'm loving get together so far but uh yeah let me know what you think about Club Onyx and don't forget to submit your sims. Upload them to the gallery. Use the hashtag down in the description. And yeah. So like this video up if you haven't already. And subscribe to my channel if you're new. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video pretty, pretty soon.
most likely tomorrow. But uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. My name is Viva La Juicy. Bye. Can I get a bump?